Hi, in this video, I will continue to develop dirty form. Let's look at our form. Uh, last video, we created a number sequence. So let's uh, give, uh, let's enter a new record here. Uh, for example, this is uh, activity, uh, activity form. something like this. Uh, and I see duty status here and I must select this as a created. Mm, but I don't like this. Uh, when I uh, create a new record, duty status must automatically assign to created. So uh, let's uh, write this code uh, first. I'm closing this one. For this kind of init values, you can uh, write code uh, to tables or data source. It's best practice for uh, this kind of things to write in tables if it's uh, uh, if it is used everywhere. So let's open duty table and or write init value method. It's our init value. This means this object and duty status and duty status create. Okay. Now it's ready. Let's uh, reopen our project and continue. Okay, the form is open. Let's click new. And as you can see, it uh, assign automatically created. Let's one and app consultant. Maybe this app consultant also uh, can come automatically from our user, but it's not that important right now. Sorry, I need to. Okay. Here a customer account, but uh, also I have a, a issue here. Uh, customers are related to project. So if I select a customer and uh, if I want to select project, uh, I need to uh, filter this customer project. But uh, best way to do this uh, selecting project, when I select a project, customer account uh, will fill automatically. Let's do that. When I select, uh, I will close customer account selection. And also when I select project ID, project ID, I will enter customer code directly to customer account field. Okay, let's go back to our project. For this, first of all, let's uh, change cast account uh, property, load it property to false. Okay, I change it uh, this field in table uh, uh, level, so it, uh, I don't need to change any value to from data source. And now I, I want to uh, write a code when the project ID is modified. Uh, so I am coming to uh, overwrite method and a modified field method is the best way to do this. I overwrite the modified field method. This, this method runs when one uh, field uh, modified uh, and uh, it runs with field ID. So we need to write a case, a switch case statement here. Sorry.
we need to use field field num function here and uh, field num function uh, needs table uh, name and field name now my table name is field table and uh, my field is project ID and okay we must simply reach also I need to add one of course okay now when uh, project ID modified uh, I can write the code here so if I use this Sorry. Project ID. Now I have project ID. I, I want to assign this Nocta account to cost account. So I need to use approach table to find this. Uh, as you can see, find uh, needs project ID and now I can assign cost account to this one. It says uh, there is an error, but I, I don't think so. Uh, so let's build our project first. So it's not about this about this one okay now it's uh, ready let's uh, run our project and see if it will work okay now let's create a new record Now I can't write customer account, so I need to select a project account here. And when I select a project account, customer account comes automatically. And my display fields shows and dates field. And maybe this also should be the today's date and duration, also developer. And state and this after this version. Okay. Now I save and automatically modified by create by and modified date and time and create date time field. And now uh, my record uh, my entry almost ready, but entering this data is hard. And I want a functionality that copies this record automatically. So we have two uh, requirements here. First, uh, first the date should today's date automatically, and we need to write a functionality to copies these records. Okay, let's look at this functionality. First one is very simple. It's also uh, in its value. Let's write this one 50. What was the field? I forget. Let's maybe. Okay. Uh, detection date, yes. We have a function here, today function. It uh, enters the date of your computer, so it's, it's okay. We have also system date gate, but it's not important here. 
and also we have another uh, we need another function of view and closing this one and open this view. So I need to create a button, and when I click this button, uh, autom uh, this functionality automatically copies records. And let's create new button here. Oops. Copy. Sorry. Copy record. And So uh, I want to write a code when I click this one and I overwrite the uh, click method here. Uh, best practice to write code uh, in tables and class. Most of the time we, we are not prefer, uh, prefer to write code directly this kind of sub uh, uh, Sub, uh, met, sub object uh, because of that I can uh, create a new method uh, and enter this uh, code over there or I can write a class and I can point this directly to this class etc there are lots of ways to do but uh, let's it's a very simple uh, simple uh, functionality so let's create uh, this uh, in here. Mm. And from here, let's call this method. For calling uh, the forms main method, we need to use element, not this. This means this object, if I uh, write this, I uh, I am uh, pointing this object. This object, what is this object? Copy record button. Uh, if I want to refer uh, forms method, I, I need to use uh, element. So now I can uh, write a code here. What, uh, First, I need a uh, I need a variable from here. This is my uh, table buffer, but I want I want to. Uh, I want to fill in with the selected record from the grid. So I can use data method for this one and I can point this data source directly. When I write this, my table buffer uh, filled with the uh, data source selected record. It's perfect. Now I can write, of course, insert and will create record directly but I, I need to change some fields right because I, I don't want uh, to uh, broke number seconds for example so I should uh, appoint a new number seconds and last time I wrote this number seconds code so let's copy this code and put here hmm. Now, now, sorry, we don't need super here. Let's clear a little bit. Now it's perfect, but it's not ready because when I insert a new record to a table, form will not show this record. I need to uh, refresh uh, this grid. Uh, there are lots of ways to do uh, this refreshing, but 
for this example, it's better to use research true. So, sorry. When I want to do something with data source, I can, uh, I will, I need to use uh, DC uh, and when I click this one, there is a method with research and retain position. Uh, I want retain position, so I am sending true. Now it's ready to use. Let's run our project and see if it works. Okay, form is open. Let's copy the record. As you can see, it copies exactly the same. Okay, now it's working fine. And I want to add some more functionality here. For example, I want to create a summary uh, field, uh, uh, a report uh, section uh, for this form. And I want to filter uh, this uh, form uh, in the beginning, in the opening state. I don't want to see all duty status directly. I want to see only created or created and maybe some other status. So I will continue to write code for this form. And I hope it helps and happy diving.